Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Fancy E-Learning Videos. So the last time, I walked you through how to use the command line window to create files, edit files, create folders, navigate through the directories, and even recall history. Today, we'll use that same format, but here's the case that I would be talking about how to write protect drives. So it can be a thumb drive, it can be a USB drive, it can be any other desk drive that you have. So let's get straight into the video. But before that, if you are new to my channel, subscribe. That is if you are new and give it a thumbs up, that's a like. Then if you have any question regarding this video or any suggestion, you can put it in the comment section. All right, so let's get straight into the video. We will be using a lot of the CMD. So we also, it's the same as command prompt. So if you see command prompt, if you see CMD, it depicts the same thing, right? So CMD, we are going to run as an administrator, right? I already have my USB inserted. So I would want you to see the files that I have on my USB drive. So this is my USB drive. It is called Fancy E and is a drive D. So you realize I have um, a Word document. I have access me, that's a folder. I have a test file. So let's try creating, let's say, okay, maybe another test document, right? So we've, we've been able to create, right? So let's name it after, say, Fancy again, Fancy Learn. So I can go through these files. I can literally go through, right? So that is it. Now back to the command line. Great. So the last time I taught you how to change directory. So we want to move two step back. So CD, I'm sure you remember this. If you don't remember this, you have to go to my previous video. I have all these there. All right. So I already know where I'm navigating to. Once again, if you don't remember, you go to my previous or my more recent videos, you'll get everything intact there. So CD, I'm changing directory, but here's the case I'm moving forward, right? Users, HP, desktop. So I have it here, right? You remember this? Great. Anyway, so today we are not here for this. Uh, I would want us to go straight into the how to write protect the pen drive. So I have a thumb drive. I've already showed you where it is where I have some files embedded. I have three files in a folder, right? But here's the case, I would want to write protect it. So with write protecting, fearless. So write protecting, I'm going to use the desk pass utility, right? Okay, so this is my desk pass. Now I want to list the drives that are already there so sorry it's going to be lists this that was an error so lists this i think this is good yeah let me move here yeah. i'm sure it's clear enough so i have a disk zero this one they are all online you realize it gives you the size it even gives you it gives you information about this, right? Great. But here's the case. My pen drive is a is almost 8 gig. So let's say 7.6. That's fine. Megabytes. So I'm going to select that particular drive. That's, so it's going to be select this one. Right? So now that this one is on. Now, how do I know this disk hasn't been even right protected? So here, you're going to attributes the disk to see the various attributes of this disk. So here you realize we have um, the current read-only state to be known. That means it's not right protected. It gives more information about the disk. 
of which I, we are not so much interested interested in interested in the rights protecting states. So it's already read only, and I want to make it. It's actually not read only. It's read only which says no. That means you can actually save the file onto it, right? But here's the case: we want to write protect it so that you don't get to save any file on it or any folder. So let's start. So I would attribute right desk sets read only. Right. So now it says disk attributes set successfully. That means it has been right protected. But let's do this again. So now it says read only states yes. So it means it's not going to be written on to, right? All right. So let's let's go to here. So you realize it doesn't even create um it doesn't give you a space to a folder or a file right so it's like it's blocked so this is this is this okay so let's say let's copy this I've copied now let me try pasting it it will never paste it will be like this forever otherwise it's exactly so it's telling us we, we should remove the right protection or use another disk so that is literally what right protecting is you're protecting your disk from it's being written on to, right? Okay, so now we can take it off. Realize it's so easy, yeah. So let's take it off. Attributes, this clear, read only. This attribute cleared successfully, all right. So that means can, can we list let's list to see now it's saying read only states is no that means it can be written onto right so let's check on the drive so you realize the new is even here so let me copy this again it was able to copy so this is literally what the right protecting using command line is okay so we are done for today don't forget to subscribe if you are new give a thumbs up that's a like and if you have any questions related to this or any question related to the previous posts or videos you can post in the comment section all right bye, -bye.